See, when you yes. can celebrate another person, person. Yes. you kill jealousy. Because jealousy. jealousy wants you to make you think that it's all about you. Yes. And it's so not. when you learn to celebrate other people or praise God for other people, you kill jealousy. Wow. I'm so glad my name is Joseph, <coughs> even though it was changed from Jones. My father actually changed his last name to Joseph because wow. his father was named Joseph. So the rest are Jones in my family, but he's the only one. So you and got, I got that name. You got Joseph in your genes. That's right. Now watch That's this. Right. I married a Joseph. Right. Yes. We had children, so our children have Joseph, Joseph in the genes. in the genes. Wow. So I favor saw. still on. Still favor. Well, like, he must have favored you. You got he me. Did. He no, did. I'm just That's true. <laughs> he did. I'm favored. I'm blessed. blessed. Powerful day today. Part two of the germ called jealousy. I dealt with a complicated part of the text, uh, uh, Faustianism, and I'll explain it when you come to Rochester. 1 o'clock p.m. today, 803 West Avenue, but a lot of people who have backed up from serving God. And I'm not talking about people who just are sick or, or, or iatrophobic, scared of medicine, or just tired, uh, overwhelmed, but people who just, on convenience and for material things, they stop serving God, mad at somebody, and stop serving God. That's called being Faustian. When you actually sacrifice spiritual values for material gain, power, perverted knowledge, or self-convenience. And so we, we dealt with it today. And we showed you how Joseph's position, he had a 40-year experience with his brothers. He was 17 when they traded on him and uh, wanted to kill him. Uh, he was 37, 20 years later, when he became a ruler in Egypt and his brothers had to end up serving him. And then another 20 years later, 57, he finally had to deliver his brothers and bless his brothers. He was 57 years old and he told them something that was profound that we're going to deal with today in Rochester. Awesome word. From your house to your house. It's, it's a, a matter, matter of dominion. A germ called jealousy. What an incredible message from Bishop Roger Gale Hennings. And the key point is, what God planned for good may have been someone else's evil. But you got to hold on to your faith. Because the story doesn't end there. Amen. Amen. What another wonderful service, wonderful great words from our bishop talking about how it's just best to serve and the blessings you get when you serve. It's always the same. It's a matter of the name. We enjoy the service. We enjoy bishop. We enjoy, yes. oh, the word was rich. Very rich. Yes, and jealousy is a terrible disease. And yes. We just thank God for the word. We have to love each other. We have to accept each other. And we have to just come to church yes. <laughs> and serve the Lord with gladness. And, and I enjoy the service more and more each time I come. Thanks to the, my beautiful queen here. God bless you. I agree with everyone. We had an awesome service, an awesome time in service today. We celebrated our veterans and Bishop preached a wonderful message, a germ called Jealousy Part 2. You don't want to miss it. Check it out on all screaming avenues, uh, Facebook or YouTube. And remember, it's a matter of dominion.